Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In this episode, we'll continue with the Let's Record a Song in Reaper series, and we'll be taking a look at tracking drums in Reaper. While we won't be covering microphone placement in this episode, we will be taking a look at setting up Reaper to record a multi mic drum kit and also recording multiple takes. If you'd like to know more about drum editing, check out my drum editing and Reaper course on ProMix Academy. I'll leave a link in the description. Our performer for today will be Edward Melton, drummer for A Little Hostel and Session Drummer. I'll leave a link to his social media in the description below. Let's get started. I've got the project open from last time where we recorded the scratch guitar tracks. I have a click track embedded in the project and I've also got this drum monitor track so Edward can control his headphone mix independent of the main mix. If you're not familiar with how to create your own headphone mixes, click the link above for more details. I've got a drum tracking template that I've created so I can quickly access all the tracks needed for my drums. I'll right click the track control panel, go to insert track from template, and select mic drum tracking. If you'd like to know more about how I set up my drum tracking template, click the link above. Everything's already configured in my template so that each of the inputs is routed to the appropriate track. I also have my template grouped so that by selecting the record arm button on the drums track, automatically arms all the subsequent tracks. But before I begin tracking, we need to gain stage the drums. Gain staging helps to ensure that I'm not clipping on any of the tracks while he's performing. It's very important that when you're gain staging your drums that you check every single element, make sure that all pieces of the kit are hit and also your room mics. My audio interface is a Roland Studio Capture and it has a feature called AutoSense that allows me to quickly gain stage the entire kit just by letting the performer play. I'll bring up the interface, go to AutoSense, arm all of my tracks, but I want to be sure to disable my speaking mic. Now I'll have Edward to play the full kit to make sure that all of my mics are properly gain staged. Gain staging is complete, so now I'll click finish, and we are ready to get started. In order for Reaper to feed audio to OBS for my screen capture, I've got monitoring enabled on several of the tracks. So you can hear some semblance of a balanced mix, I'll also need to turn down the guitars. Edward's already configured his inner mix for what he needs to hear. We'll go through a few takes on this, and it's important when you're recording a drummer to have him or her to play as close to the same thing as possible for each of your takes. That'll make the comping process a lot easier. I'll go to the beginning of the project, and we'll get started. That was a great take, but I find it best to always get more than one. Let's try again. It's important when tracking drums for the drummer to play a similar performance each time.
another solid performance. Let's get one more take. Recording drums in Reaper doesn't have to be difficult. There are a few things that you should know before you get started, and I hope that this video has helped you to become a bit more comfortable recording your own drums. If you'd like to know a bit more about microphone placement and setting up the actual kit for recording, leave a comment below. In the next installment, we'll take a quick look at creating a comp from our drum takes and editing the drums for time alignment. Then we'll pass the project over to Adam from Hi YouTube, I'm Dad to show us how to track bass. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the buy me a coffee, I like coffee, or Patreon link below. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. 